Hello everyone, today I'll be making vegan tacos. And to fill the tacos, you will need a, uh, I'm making a filling with chickpeas, uh, garlic, green onions, celery, uh, vegan mayo, and some hot sauce. There's three things that I will be putting in these tacos, and this is one of them. I'm also cooking some quinoa in a half a cup of quinoa, uh, cooking in a little bit of um, oil. And then to this, I'm gonna add one cup of water. And I'll let that cook down, and you can hear that sizzle. And I'll let this come back to a boil. And once it comes up to a boil, leave it for about five minutes, cover it, and turn off your stove. And your quinoa will cook on its own. You don't have to watch it or anything. So, um, and a, a little dash of salt in the quinoa. The next uh, filling will be salad. And I have some grown salad, homegrown salad here from my neighbor. A Vidalia onion, I'm gonna chop it up real fine. And some um, car carrots, some peppers for color. So I have a yellow and an orange one. You can use red and green, whatever you'd like. And I'm gonna put some provolone slices, which are dairy free. Uh, in my taco. So um, to create the tacos, I bought these flour uh, tortillas and on the back of my uh, muffin pan, I placed the um, tortillas and you bake them for about five to 10 minutes, depending on your oven. And they're so nice and um, I, I, I truly like these because uh, it makes a nice taco or a nice, you can make them smaller. I use the small ones as you can see. Uh, there's 12 tortillas in this package here. So um, the next step that you need to do is to finish off your chickpea salad or filling, chickpea salad or filling, whichever one you want to call it. So I'm going to go ahead and put all my chopped vegetables in here right now. Uh, so again, there's uh, three cloves of garlic that I've chopped up, uh, two cloves of garlic and three green onions, five stalks of celery, that I chopped up and let's put everything in this pan here. This is a very delicious taco. It's easy to make. Um, it doesn't take much. Now I cook my own chickpeas, but you can use a canned chickpea. It's just as good. Um, you just drain it and uh, make sure there's no, um, um, none of that liquid in there. So drain it really good. And then to this, I am going to add this uh, Hellman's vegan dressing or spread. Uh, you can make your own vegan mayo if you'd like, or you can use this. It's just as good. We like it. And if I don't have the made by me one, <laughs> made by me one. Okay, so three tablespoons, heaping tablespoons in here of the mayo, the vegan mayo. And I use some hot sauce. Now this is this is made by um, these monks at a monastery that we go to, Saint Nectarios Monastery, uh, and uh, they make, they do an awesome job. I don't even know if they sell it online, but it's a smoke smoke chipotle hot sauce. Wonderful, great job. So uh, we're gonna mix this up. Let me get all this off of my spoon. Uh, we don't want to throw it out and mix it up real good. I'm going to wash my hands real quick. There we go. And now we're going to mix this up to finish up the chickpea filling. You could actually use this and uh, for a dip if you like. It's really good. And um, add salt and pepper to your liking. I'm going to keep out the salt because the uh, mayo has some salt in it and the spiced um, hot sauce has some salt in it. So that's plenty for me, but you taste it and make it as spicy as a little salt or more salt, whatever you like. I'm just giving you ingredients as the, the main ingredients that go into this taco that's wonderful. It's, it's just delicious. And uh, it's nice even on a hot day to create these tacos. Uh, you can make everything ahead of time and keep it in the refrigerator and then make it. So uh, let's see here. Our next steps, this is done. So I'm gonna cover this up 
and continue with my salad that's going to go on top and um, ho hopefully the quinoa will be done by then and then we're going to start to put them together but i will show you that step as soon as everything comes together and everything's finished i will be back hello i'm back to create the salad that's going to go on these tacos as the uh, quinoa is cooking so uh to do to create the salad like i said i have this uh homegrown salad that i chopped up so i have one vidalia onion chopped I'll just add it to my container here, along with a half of uh, orange pepper and a half of the yellow pepper. Everything goes into my little container where I will mix everything. So I'm going to make a dressing that's going to be a little bit spicy with this chipotle sauce and olive oil. I'll create the dressing. It'll be a little bit sweet because we're going to add maple syrup to it, but it's also going to be delicious. So let's, uh, let's do this together. Okay, so we've got all the salad in there. Even though a little bit fell out, it's okay. We'll clean it up. There we go. So for the salad, I have my teaspoon here, one teaspoon. I'm gonna put, oh, I don't wanna put it over the salad. I'm sorry. I wanna create a, the uh, dressing. So one teaspoon of salt. Uh, I have olive oil here. I will put some olive oil, but I will probably say about a quarter cup of olive oil because we're gonna add some water to this dressing. It's not gonna be all oil. So a quarter cup of olive oil and a quarter cup of water. Uh, probably two tablespoons of teaspoons, not tablespoons, one, two of uh, the maple syrup, the pure maple syrup. There we go. And then we are going to add some spicy chipotle. We'll add one for now and then we'll taste it to see if it needs any more. This is just a small mason jar that I'm using. It's easy to uh, mix and uh, let's get everything together. I'm going to pour some water in here and okay there we go. So we put some water in here. We're going to give it a shake and then I'm going to add uh, some um, <clears throat> apple cider vinegar for the uh, to be a little bit uh, tart, not tart, but um, to have that uh, vinegary taste just a little bit. So I'm going to use the apple cider vinegar, the Simply Nature. This is the one we use in the house. So let's just put a splash of that. There we go. A longer splash, right? <laughs> we'll taste it and see if it needs anything else. Okay, let's give it a taste. I do want to put a little bit of the Italian spices just to give it a little bit of a spicy, the, all the spices that go into uh, the Italian dressing, which is what, oregano, thyme, basil, rosemary, and sage. Just gives it a good taste. Okay, we'll mix it up again and taste it. And I'm sure this, the longer it stays in your refrigerator, all these uh, different tastes uh, will uh, be more pronounced and it will taste even better. So let's see. Mm, no salt. More, a little bit more vinegar. So two splashes of vinegar. Okay. And a little bit of maple syrup, maybe one more. Oh, there we go. One more teaspoon. It was a little bit more than one more, but it's all good. It all has to melt on the bottom too, so maybe I have to let it sit a little bit, and shake it up a couple times before I taste it again, but I think this will do it. I think this is what we want here. 
so we'll shake it up really good. And my next step is to get the tacos ready. Okay, so here's my tacos. I have, as I said, this uh, provolone non-dairy. So my first ingredient is gonna be this because I'll put this inside. And when I put the quinoa, which is gonna be warm, it will warm it up and it will uh, melt it down, not warm it up. So here we go. And I only have one left, so we'll make one without and one with. I mean, a three, four with and one without. So these are ready for our next step and we're just waiting up on the quinoa to cook and I'll return and we'll put it all together and it will be amazing. Okay, we are ready. The quinoa is done. It was so fast, I can't believe it. So uh, I did toast it a little bit, as I said, and I let it come up to a rapid boil for about five minutes. I covered it up and voila, there it is. It's cooked, it's it's nice, it's delicious. I did add a, a, just a dash of salt. What we're gonna do first is to do the salad to finish this up. And as you can see, I've been uh, mixing it up and let's put it in here. I'm not gonna add the whole thing. You might wanna add some on top. So you can always use uh, this dressing for later. So it's all up to you. But this is uh, what I like to do with it. And you can use it for any dressing, actually, for any uh, salad, sorry. Uh, you can create this dressing, it's very good. And it's not spicy, that sriracha just adds a little, uh, the um, spicy sauce that I added, the sriracha sauce, it, it just added just a little tiny bit of spice, but not much. So now we're ready. So I have my taco. That's our last ingredients first. Ingredient is the quinoa, then our salad, our filling with the chickpeas, and then top it off with the salad. So as I said, I want to put it in while this is hot because this will warm up. It will melt the cheese. So let's put that in like this. Okay. Then I'm going to put in some of this chickpea goodness. Okay, like this. this okay and some of the salad but I'd like to have it stand up a little bit so let me look for something here yeah or maybe I'll just put them back right in in our um, holder there if you have a taco holder that's even better uh, because they'll stand up put as little or as much as you'd like and here's the salad mm -mm -mm. the taco so I'll put it there Let's, um, because it's nice and safe, right? <laughs> Let's put it. another one. And this is how we roll in this house. This is uh, a delicious, nutritious meal that's vegan that you can prepare in no time. Uh, and uh, it's really not that expensive to make it. Um, this salad is going to go a long way because I'm going to have some left over and I can have it with, uh, the kids can have it with chips or you can um, do other sandwiches with it. You decide on the sandwiches. Um, once you have your tacos ready and there we go. Look how nice those look. Okay. So if you like this recipe and I hope you do and I hope you try it because it is delicious. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel so you can get all the notifications about anything new that I post. Um, I wish you a blessed day and all the best to you and your family. God bless. Bye-bye.